Imagine this. You're a farmer waking up before sunrise. You walk your fields ready for a hard day's work. But something's wrong. Your crops are gone, trampled, destroyed. The culprit? Not pests or disease, but invasive animals. Invasive species are a global problem, and America is no exception. These animals transported by humans find themselves in new environments. With no natural predators, they multiply fast, disrupting the balance of nature. And for American farmers, they're a growing menace. From feral hogs to nutria, these invaders are wreaking havoc. But perhaps none are as stealthy, as potentially dangerous, as the leopard. While not native to the U.S., sightings of these big cats have been reported, sparking concern and fear. The question is, how do we protect our farms, our livelihoods, from these silent invaders? Leopards, native to Africa and Asia, are apex predators, built for stealth and hunting. While sightings in the U.S. are rare, the possibility of their establishment here is a serious concern. Imagine these powerful animals roaming free, their presence a constant threat to livestock, and potentially humans. It's not just leopards. Feral hogs, originally brought for food, have become a scourge, tearing through fields and spreading disease. Nutria, large rodents from South America, destroy wetlands and damage crops. These are just a few examples of the invasive animal threat. These animals don't play fair. They reproduce quickly, have hardy appetites, and can adapt to various habitats. This makes them a formidable opponent for farmers already battling the elements and market fluctuations. The situation calls for action, for innovative solutions, and for the courage to face these wild invaders head on. Invasive animals are more than just a nuisance. They're a direct threat to America's food security. Their impact on crops is devastating, leading to significant economic losses for farmers and higher prices for consumers. Imagine a field of corn, ready for harvest, reduced to trampled stalks overnight by a sounder of feral hogs. Picture fruit trees, stripped bare by hungry nutria, their valuable yields gone. This is the reality for many farmers facing the invasive species crisis. These animals don't discriminate. They target a wide range of crops, from fruits and vegetables to grains and livestock. Their feeding habits damage not only the crops themselves, but also the soil, impacting future yields. The cost of this damage is staggering, reaching billions of dollars annually. But beyond the economic impact, there's a deeper cost. The threat to our food supply and the livelihoods of hardworking Americans. Section 4. Farmers Fight Back. Traditional Tactics and Modern Tools. Faced with this growing threat, American farmers aren't backing down. They're on the front lines, fighting back against invasive species with a combination of traditional knowledge and modern technology. One of the oldest and most effective methods is trapping. Farmers use sturdy traps, strategically placed and baited to capture invaders like feral hogs. These traps are not just randomly placed. They are the result of careful planning and understanding of animal behavior. Farmers often study the movement patterns of these invasive species to determine the best locations for their traps. These traps, often monitored remotely, allow for quick and humane removal. Fencing is another crucial tool. High tensile wire fences, sometimes electrified, create barriers to protect crops and livestock. These fences are designed to withstand the strength and persistence of larger animals, ensuring that they remain effective over time. Electrified fences add an extra layer of deterrence, delivering a mild shock to any animal that attempts to breach them. This not only keeps the invasive species out, but also trains them to avoid the area altogether. These fences, while costly, offer a physical deterrent against persistent invaders. But it's not just about defense. Farmers are increasingly employing proactive measures like habitat modification to make their land less attractive to invasive species. This involves a variety of strategies aimed at altering the environment to discourage the presence of these unwanted guests. Farmers are increasingly employing proactive measures like habitat modification to make their land less attractive to invasive species. This includes removing brush, controlling water sources, and planting crops less appealing to invaders. By removing dense brush and undergrowth, farmers eliminate hiding spots and nesting areas for invasive animals. This includes removing brush, controlling water sources, and planting crops less appealing to invaders. Controlling water sources is another effective strategy, as many invasive species are drawn to areas with abundant water. By managing these resources carefully, farmers can reduce the attractiveness of their land. The fight is far from over, but with resourcefulness and determination, farmers are holding the line against these unwelcome guests. They are constantly adapting and evolving their methods, learning from each encounter, and sharing their knowledge with others in the farming community. This collective effort is crucial in the ongoing battle against invasive species, ensuring that the land remains productive and sustainable for future generations. Section 5. High-tech solutions, drones, and sensors join the fray. 
In the battle against invasive species, technology is proving to be a powerful ally. With the advent of advanced tools, farmers are no longer fighting this battle alone. They have a new set of eyes in the sky and ears on the ground. Farmers are turning to drones, sensors, and other high-tech tools to monitor their land and detect invaders early on. These tools are not just gadgets, they are game changers in the agricultural sector. Imagine this, a drone equipped with thermal imaging soars over a field, pinpointing the heat signatures of feral hogs hiding in dense vegetation. This technology allows farmers to see what the naked eye cannot, providing a significant advantage in identifying and managing threats. This information, relayed instantly to the farmer's smartphone, allows for targeted and efficient removal. The real-time data ensures that farmers can act quickly, reducing the damage caused by these invasive species. Sensors placed strategically around fields can detect movement and sound, triggering alerts when invasive animals are present. These sensors act as an early warning system, providing farmers with crucial information before the invaders can cause significant harm. This early warning system gives farmers a critical head start in protecting their crops. By knowing exactly when and where the threat is, they can deploy resources more effectively and efficiently. Data analysis is also playing a crucial role. The information gathered from drones and sensors is not just for immediate action, it is also used for long-term planning and strategy. By tracking movement patterns, feeding habits, and population dynamics, farmers can anticipate invasive species activity and develop more effective control strategies. This predictive capability is invaluable in staying one step ahead of the problem. Technology alone won't win this fight, but it's giving farmers a much needed edge in this 21st century agricultural challenge. The integration of these high-tech solutions into traditional farming practices is creating a more resilient and responsive agricultural system. Farmers are also collaborating with tech companies to develop new solutions tailored to their specific needs. This partnership is driving innovation and ensuring that the tools available are both practical and effective. The future of farming is undoubtedly intertwined with technology. As these tools become more advanced and accessible, the vision of a tech-enhanced agriculture system becomes a reality. This evolution is not just about fighting invasive species, it's about creating a sustainable and productive future for farming. Farmers are embracing this technological revolution with optimism. They understand that while the challenges are significant, the opportunities for growth and improvement are even greater. With the right tools and strategies, the agricultural sector is poised to thrive in the face of adversity. Section 6. Community Action Strength in Numbers The fight against invasive species is not one that farmers can win alone. It requires a united front, with communities coming together to share knowledge, resources, and strategies. Across the country, farmer cooperatives and local organizations are hosting workshops and training sessions, educating farmers about the latest methods for controlling invasive species. These gatherings provide a platform for sharing experiences and fostering a sense of collective action. Government agencies, too, play a vital role. They conduct research, provide funding for control programs, and implement regulations aimed at preventing the further spread of invasive species. But perhaps the most powerful force is the spirit of community. Neighbors helping neighbors, sharing equipment, and working together to protect their shared agricultural heritage. This collaborative approach is essential for addressing the scale and complexity of the invasive species challenge. It's a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of rural communities. Section 7. A day in the life of a farmer facing leopard threats. Sunrise paints the sky with hues of orange and pink. But for John, a farmer in rural America, there's no time for admiring the beauty. The dawn signifies the start of another challenging day, one that demands his full attention and unwavering resolve. His heart pounds with a mix of apprehension and resolve. Each day brings a new set of challenges, and the threat of leopards is a constant, looming presence that he cannot ignore. Today, like every day, he faces the looming threat of leopards on his land. These predators, though majestic, pose a significant danger to his livelihood and the safety of his livestock. John's morning begins with a careful inspection of his property. He walks the perimeter, his eyes scanning for any signs of disturbance that might indicate a leopard's presence. He scans the perimeter fence for any signs of disturbance, searching for tracks or droppings that might indicate the presence of the elusive predator. Each footprint, each broken branch, tells a story that John has learned to read with precision. His trained eye doesn't miss a single detail. Years of experience have honed his senses, making him acutely aware of even the slightest changes in his environment. Next, he checks on his livestock, ensuring their safety. The animals are more than just a source of income, they are a part of his life, and their well-being is paramount. The goats, usually boisterous, are huddled together, their fear palpable. They sense the danger that lurks in the shadows, and their unease is a stark reminder of the ever-present threat. John soothes them with a gentle touch, his own anxiety masked by a facade of calm. He knows that his composure is crucial in keeping the animals as relaxed as possible. Throughout the day, John remains vigilant. 
His eyes constantly scan the horizon, and his ears are attuned to the slightest sounds that might indicate danger. He carries his rifle, not out of aggression, but out of necessity. The weapon is a tool, a means of protection in a world where the line between predator and prey is often blurred. He understands the delicate balance between protecting his livelihood and respecting the power of nature. The leopards are a part of the ecosystem, and while they pose a threat, they also play a crucial role in maintaining the natural order. As dusk settles, John reinforces his defenses, setting up motion-activated lights and checking the batteries in his trail cameras. These measures are his first line of defense, designed to deter the predators and alert him to their presence. The night brings uncertainty, but John faces it with the same grit and determination that has defined generations of farmers before him. The darkness is both a cloak for the leopards and a canvas for John's unwavering spirit. He knows that each day is a battle, but it's one he's prepared to fight, armed with knowledge, experience, and an unyielding resolve to protect his land and his livelihood. Ever wonder how farmers keep their chickens safe from hungry critters? It's not just about locking the coop at night. Farmers have to be vigilant, constantly on the lookout for any signs of trouble. They use a variety of methods to protect their flocks, from high-tech solutions like motion-activated cameras to age-old techniques like guard dogs. Out here in the real world, it's a constant battle against nature's predators. Foxes, with their cunning and stealth, are always on the prowl, looking for an easy meal. They can slip through the smallest of gaps and are incredibly patient, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. We're talking raccoons, foxes, coyotes, even the occasional bear looking for an easy meal. Raccoons are particularly notorious for their dexterity and intelligence. They can open latches, dig under fences, and climb over barriers. Coyotes, on the other hand, are relentless hunters, often working in packs to outsmart their prey. These guys are crafty, persistent, and always hungry. They have evolved over centuries to become expert hunters, and they see a chicken coop as a buffet. Farmers have to be equally crafty, using everything from electric fences to noise deterrents to keep these predators at bay. For a farmer, protecting their flock isn't just about business, it's personal. These chickens are more than just livestock. They're a source of livelihood and often they become part of the family. The bond between a farmer and their animals is strong, and the loss of even one chicken can be heartbreaking. Imagine waking up to the sound of chaos in the coop, the heart-pounding moment when you realize something is wrong. Feathers scattered everywhere, the frantic squawking of terrified chickens, and the unmistakable evidence of a predator's visit. It's a scene of devastation that no farmer wants to face. Feathers scattered, panicked squawking, and the unmistakable evidence of a predator's visit. The aftermath is a grim reminder of the constant threat that looms over a poultry farm. Farmers have to be on high alert, especially during the night when most predators are active. It's a farmer's nightmare, and it's a stark reminder that in the wild, it's eat or be eaten. The food chain is unforgiving, and every night is a test of a farmer's resilience and resourcefulness. They must balance the demands of running a farm with the ever-present need to protect their animals. It's a tough job, but for many, it's a labor of love. The first line of defense is a good, sturdy fence. We're not talking about your grandma's picket fence here. We need something that can withstand a determined raccoon or a leaping fox. Think chain link, welded wire, maybe even electrified for good measure. The fence needs to be sunk deep into the ground to prevent digging under. It also needs to be tall enough to deter climbing. And don't forget about the gates. Those need to be secured with heavy-duty latches that even the smartest raccoon can't figure out. A good fence is a great start, but sometimes you need a little extra muscle. That's where guard dogs come in. Breeds like Great Pyrenees, Akbash dogs, and Anatolian Shepherds are bred to protect livestock. These dogs are big, intimidating, and fiercely loyal to their flock. They'll patrol the perimeter, bark at anything that moves, and won't hesitate to chase off a potential threat. And trust me, when a dog that big barks, you listen. Now, this might sound strange, but some farmers swear by llamas as guard animals. You heard me right, llamas. They're surprisingly effective at deterring predators. Llamas are naturally curious and alert. They have excellent eyesight and aren't afraid to confront anything they see as a threat. Plus, they have a secret weapon, a powerful kick that can send a coyote running for the hills. Section 5. Electronic Deterrence Technology to the Rescue Technology is changing the game, even on the farm. Motion-activated lights and sprinklers can startle predators and send them packing. Electric fences deliver a memorable shock that teaches them to stay away. Some farmers even use cameras and sensors to monitor their property remotely. They can get alerts on their phones if there's any suspicious activity and take action before it's too late. It's like having a digital shepherd watching over the flock 24-7. Section 6. 
housing and confinement, safety in numbers. When it comes to raising chickens, their safety is paramount. Ensuring they have a secure place to stay, especially during the night, is crucial for their well-being. When the sun goes down, it's time to bring the flock in for the night. Chickens are naturally inclined to return to their coop as dusk approaches, but it's our responsibility to make sure they are safely inside before darkness falls. A secure coop is essential for keeping predators at bay. Predators like raccoons, foxes, and even neighborhood dogs can pose a significant threat to your flock. A sturdy door with a reliable lock can make all the difference in ensuring their safety. We're talking solid walls, a sturdy roof, and no gaps or holes where critters can sneak in. It's not just about keeping the big predators out, even small gaps can be an entry point for snakes or rodents. Reinforcing the coop with hardware cloth and ensuring there are no weak spots is key. Inside the coop, providing roosting bars off the ground gives chickens a safe place to sleep. Chickens have a natural instinct to roost off the ground to avoid ground-dwelling predators. Roosting bars should be placed at varying heights to accommodate all the birds comfortably. Good ventilation is crucial, and keeping the coop clean helps prevent disease and keeps those pesky rodents away. Proper airflow reduces moisture buildup, which can lead to respiratory issues and other health problems. Regular cleaning and maintenance of the coop are essential to ensure a healthy environment for your chickens. Remember, a healthy flock is a happy flock. Providing a clean, secure, and well-ventilated living space not only keeps your chickens safe from predators, but also promotes their overall health and well-being. Happy chickens are more productive, laying more eggs and contributing to a thriving homestead. So take the time to invest in a good coop and maintain it regularly. Your chickens will thank you for it. Section 7. Community Vigilance. Sharing is caring. Farmers are a tight-knit bunch. We look out for each other, and that includes sharing information about predator activity. If one farmer has a close call with a fox, you can bet the whole community will be on high alert. We also work together to manage predator populations. That might mean trapping and relocating animals or working with local wildlife officials to find humane solutions. It's all about finding a balance that allows us to protect our livelihoods while respecting the natural world around us. Section 8. Protecting Our Feathered Friends Protecting poultry from predators is more than just a chore for farmers. It's a responsibility. These feathered friends are more than just livestock. They are an integral part of the farm ecosystem. Predators ranging from foxes to hawks pose a constant threat to their safety. Farmers must be vigilant, always on the lookout for potential dangers that could harm their flocks. These animals depend on us for their well-being, and we take that responsibility seriously. Every day, farmers wake up early to check on their birds, ensuring they are healthy and safe. This involves not only feeding and watering them, but also inspecting for signs of illness or distress. It's a labor of love, one that requires patience and dedication. From sturdy fences to watchful guard dogs, from high-tech sensors to good old-fashioned community cooperation, the methods of protection are diverse and ever-evolving. Sturdy fences are the first line of defense, keeping out larger predators. Guard dogs are trained to alert farmers to any unusual activity, providing an extra layer of security. High-tech sensors can detect movement and send alerts to farmers' phones, allowing them to respond quickly to any threats. We're constantly finding new and innovative ways to keep our flocks safe. Innovations in technology have made it possible to monitor poultry farms remotely, using cameras and sensors to keep an eye on the birds, even when farmers are not physically present. Community cooperation also plays a crucial role, with neighbors looking out for each other's flocks and sharing information about potential threats. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Cleaning the coops, managing waste, and ensuring the birds have a clean environment are all part of the daily routine. It's not glamorous work, but it's essential for the health and well-being of the poultry. After all, those fresh eggs don't just appear on supermarket shelves by magic. Each egg represents the culmination of careful planning, hard work, and attention to detail. From the moment the hens lay the eggs to the time they are collected, cleaned, and packed, every step is meticulously managed to ensure quality and safety. They're the result of hard work, dedication, and a whole lot of ingenuity. Farmers are constantly looking for ways to improve their methods whether it's through better feed, more efficient housing, or advanced health care for their birds. This dedication ensures that consumers receive the best possible products, and it highlights the importance of supporting local farmers who work tirelessly to bring fresh, high-quality poultry products to our tables. Ever planted a garden? Imagine a raccoon family having a buffet in your backyard. 
That's life for farmers battling wild animals. From hungry deer to pesky rodents, these critters see crops as an all-you-can-eat buffet. Farmers work hard to grow food, but protecting their livelihood from wild animals is a 24-7 job. It's a constant battle against nature, and the stakes are high. Farmers and wild animals often share the same space, and that can lead to conflict. Crops get gobbled up, profits take a hit, and nobody wins. Imagine losing a season's worth of tomatoes to a herd of hungry deer. That's why farmers have developed clever techniques to deter these unwanted dinner guests. Think of it as a game of strategy, where the goal is to protect crops without harming the animals. Let's face it, fences make good neighbors, especially on the farm. A sturdy fence is often the first line of defense against critters looking for an easy meal. But we're not talking about your grandma's picket fence here. We're talking tall, strong, and sometimes electrified barriers that can withstand a determined deer or a burrowing rabbit. These fences are specifically designed to keep animals out and crops safe. Remember that smell that makes you wrinkle your nose? Maybe it's the stench of rotten eggs or the pungent aroma of spoiled milk. These smells are so powerful that they trigger an immediate reaction, making you want to get as far away as possible. But did you know that this reaction isn't unique to humans? Turns out, animals have those too. Just like us, animals have a keen sense of smell that helps them navigate their environment. This sense of smell is crucial for their survival, helping them find food, detect predators, and even communicate with each other. But it also means they can be repelled by certain odors. Farmers use this to their advantage with repellents. In agriculture, keeping pests away from crops is a constant battle. Traditional methods like fencing and traps can be effective, but they often require a lot of maintenance and can be harmful to the environment. That's where repellents come in. By using substances that emit strong, unpleasant odors, farmers can protect their crops without causing harm to the animals or the ecosystem. These stinky concoctions, often made from natural ingredients, send a clear message. Go find dinner elsewhere. Ingredients like garlic, hot peppers, and even rotten eggs are commonly used in these repellents. When animals encounter these smells, their natural instinct is to avoid the area, keeping them away from valuable crops. Think of it like putting garlic on your door to ward off vampires, but for skunks and raccoons. Just as the mythological vampire is repelled by garlic, many animals are repelled by certain strong odors. This method is not only effective, but also environmentally friendly, as it uses natural ingredients that won't harm the soil or water supply. Some repellents even use taste aversion, leaving a bad taste in the animal's mouth and discouraging them from coming back for seconds. This method is particularly useful for animals that are persistent and might not be deterred by smell alone. By combining both smell and taste aversion, farmers can create a multi-layered defense system that keeps their crops safe from a variety of pests. The science behind these repellents is fascinating. Researchers study the behavior of animals and identify which smells and tastes are most effective at keeping them away. This involves a lot of trial and error, as different animals have different sensitivities. For example, what works for a deer might not work for a rabbit, and vice versa. In laboratories, scientists are constantly developing new and improved repellents. They test various combinations of ingredients to find the perfect formula that will be both effective and safe. This research is crucial, as it helps farmers protect their crops, while also ensuring that the repellents don't have any negative impact on the environment. The results speak for themselves. Farmers who use these natural repellents often see a significant reduction in crop damage, leading to higher yields and more successful harvests. This not only benefits the farmers, but also contributes to a more sustainable and eco-friendly agricultural industry. And it's not just about protecting crops. By using natural repellents, we can coexist more harmoniously with wildlife. Instead of harming animals or driving them away from their natural habitats, we can simply encourage them to stay away from certain areas. This approach promotes biodiversity and helps maintain a healthy balance in our ecosystems. So next time you wrinkle your nose at a bad smell, remember that it might just be doing its job. Whether it's keeping pests away from crops or helping us avoid spoiled food, our sense of smell is a powerful tool. And thanks to the science of repellents, we can use this tool to create a safer, more sustainable world for both humans and animals. Section five, furry guardians, natural born protectors. In the vast open fields where livestock roam freely, there exists a unique and heartwarming form of security. These are not your typical guards. They are the unsung heroes of the farm, the furry guardians who stand vigilant day and night. Forget security systems. Some farmers have furry protectors on the payroll. These animals are not just pets. They are integral members of the farm's ecosystem, providing a natural and effective form of protection. Their presence alone can be a significant deterrent to potential threats. Dogs, llamas, and even donkeys have been known to scare off pesky critters. These animals have a natural instinct to protect their territory and the creatures within it. They are vigilant, 
always on the lookout for any signs of danger, ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. These guardian animals are more than just cute faces. They're natural-born protectors with a strong instinct to guard their territory. Llamas, for instance, are known for their alertness and their ability to detect predators from a distance. Their imposing size and strong presence can be enough to ward off many would-be intruders. A well-trained dog can chase away raccoons, while a llama's size and powerful kick can deter coyotes. Dogs, with their keen senses and agility, are excellent at patrolling the perimeter and keeping smaller predators at bay. They can herd sheep to safety and ensure that no harm comes to them. It's eco-friendly security with a wagging tail. These animals not only provide protection, but also bring joy and companionship to the farm. Their loyalty and dedication are unmatched, and their presence is a testament to the bond between humans and animals. In a world where technology often takes center stage, it's refreshing to see that sometimes, the best security system is a furry friend with a wagging tail and a heart full of love. Donkeys, often underestimated, are incredibly protective of their herd. Their loud brays can alert the entire farm to potential danger, and their strong, sturdy build makes them formidable opponents to any predator. They are known to form strong bonds with the animals they protect, often standing guard over them with unwavering vigilance. Llamas, with their calm demeanor and watchful eyes, are excellent at keeping an eye on the flock. They have a natural ability to sense danger and will position themselves between the threat and the animals they are protecting. Their presence alone can be enough to keep predators at bay, making them invaluable members of the farm. Dogs, with their boundless energy and sharp instincts, are always ready to spring into action. They can cover large areas quickly, ensuring that no part of the farm goes unprotected. Their loyalty to their human companions and the animals they guard is unwavering, making them some of the most reliable protectors on the farm. Each of these animals brings something unique to the table. Donkeys with their strength and loud brays, llamas with their alertness and imposing presence, and dogs with their agility and loyalty. Together, they create a formidable team of protectors that any farmer would be proud to have. In the end, it's not just about protection. It's about the bond between these animals and the humans they serve. It's about the trust and mutual respect that develops over time. These natural-born protectors are more than just security, they are family, and their presence is a reminder of the incredible connection we share with the animal kingdom. Section 6. Habitat Harmony. Less is more. In the world of farming, sometimes the best approach is to do less. This might sound counterintuitive, but when it comes to managing habitats around farmlands, less really can be more. Here's a thought. If you don't build it, they won't come. This simple idea can have profound implications for farmers trying to balance productivity with environmental stewardship. Farmers are getting smart about habitat management. They are learning that by reducing the amount of brush and tall grasses around their fields, they can significantly decrease the number of wildlife that encroach on their crops. By clearing brush and tall grasses around fields, they're making their farms less appealing to critters looking for shelter. This not only helps protect their crops, but also reduces the need for more aggressive and potentially harmful pest control measures. It's like taking down the vacancy sign at a hotel. When there are fewer places for wildlife to hide and nest, they are less likely to settle in areas where they are not wanted. Less habitat means fewer places for unwanted guests to hide, making the farm less attractive to wildlife seeking a home. This approach can lead to a more harmonious relationship between farming activities and the surrounding ecosystem. Another aspect of this strategy is the use of cover crops. By planting cover crops, farmers can improve soil health and reduce erosion, while also making the land less inviting to pests. Natural barriers, such as hedgerows and buffer strips, can also play a crucial role. These barriers can help to manage wildlife movement and reduce the likelihood of animals entering crop areas. Monitoring wildlife activity is another key component. By keeping an eye on the patterns and behaviors of local wildlife, farmers can make more informed decisions about how to manage their land. Technology is also playing an increasingly important role. From drones to satellite imagery, farmers now have access to tools that can help them manage habitats more effectively and sustainably. Education and training are essential. Many farmers are attending workshops and courses to learn about the latest techniques and best practices in habitat management. Collaboration within the farming community is also vital. By working together, farmers can share knowledge and resources, making it easier to implement effective habitat management strategies. The results of these efforts can be seen in healthier crops, reduced pest problems, and a more balanced ecosystem. It's a win-win situation for both farmers and the environment. In the end, the principle of less is more in habitat management can lead to more sustainable and productive farming practices. By doing less, in they're about finding a balance. By protecting their crops, farmers ensure they can continue to feed their families and communities. It's about coexisting peacefully and sustainably, ensuring everyone has enough to eat. Section 9. The Future of Farming Innovation and Adaptation 
Farmers are tough, resourceful, and always up for a challenge. They're constantly coming up with new and innovative ways to outsmart pesky critters. Motion-activated sprinklers, high-tech sensors, and even drones are being used to deter animals and protect crops. It's like a high-stakes game of chess, with farmers always thinking several moves ahead. Section 10, hats off to the farmers. So next time you enjoy a juicy tomato or a crisp ear of corn, take a moment to thank a farmer. They've battled the elements, outfoxed pesky critters, and worked tirelessly to bring food to our tables. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, and they do it with ingenuity, resilience, and a whole lot of heart.